Oh, what's good? My name is Psycho Metal, and I hope you're having a good month of October. I hope you're uh, having an easy time celebrating the holidays, and I hope you're healthy and safe. As for me, right now I'm just glad to be alive. I'm not going to get into detail, but some recent events have um, made me much more concerned about my physical and mental health. So. I'm uh, glad to get to be doing this right now. Anyways, uh, excuse the title for the stream. I couldn't think of anything better. And on top of that, um, I just watched uh, Sippy's video on this game. So go check it out. It's a uh, it's pretty good. The only spoiler I'll have for the video is that he only uh, does the, what's it called, evil playthrough, or basically he kills uh, almost every NPC he comes into contact with, but otherwise so, um, a pretty informative video, pretty good, very entertaining. Of course, in my playthrough, I'll be just continuing this, uh, Good playthrough. Or basically the opposite of what you did. Keep it down. He'll hear you. Hargrave's gonna whack us. Hurry up. I didn't get a chance to play the game off stream to uh Please. get past this hit point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stream myself redoing this. Awesome. Please. Oh man, you're here. You gotta save us before Hargrave gets back. You gotta cut us down. You gotta... I don't think so. My prisoners never make it out alive. The time has come to wash the scum from the earth. This is my Armageddon. Lock it down. <laughs> Just so we don't have to watch that cutscene again, I'm just going to save over this one. He's not even inside. Okay, that makes this easier. Keep him alive. Go. Oh. Okay, cool. We're good. I forgot the game kept crashing. All right. <laughs> um. All right. That's an easy fix to get this thing open. Oh. Thing is, though, I'm gonna have to restart anyways, just because uh, what's his name didn't even go through the gate.
For all I know, he could have uh, probably died. Really glad I saved though. Hardgrave, the fucking B block down. Let's see if I can just try to. Don't let him live. Let's do this. There we go. Goddamn prisoner! This glitched. No. Okay, maybe. He does so much damage. I moved at the wrong time. And it crushed again. Okay. Starting to regret not playing this off stream, this uh, part of the game. Save again. I'm hoping I blinded them. I did not. This guy's just invincible. Yeah, he's invincible. Okay. I think there's a break room. Above oh, that door. Yeah, he's completely glitched. I have no way to kill him. Paul Graves fucking bugging, man. Submit. Submit. Oh. 
Taking way too much damage. Oh, Graves, fucking bugging, man. Okay, let me do what I was doing before. That's still not gonna work. Makes it so frustrating. I gotta start the whole thing over again. Keep it down. He'll hear you. Just because of that one bug. Hurry up. Inmates in the gallery. We get a safety first. There we go. Save again. Above that control station? Maybe we can get in through there. Die like a man or die like a dog. Second tier! God damn it! Yes, man! Hogbeds hold up in there like a fat ass. Okay, cool. There's gotta be a way to get in there without getting blasted. Yeah, Hogbeds are bugging, man. Dude, stop shooting me. Also, um, you guys saw how to talk about this. After I complete this game, I'm still on the fence on whether I want to play the sequel, Pies That Bind, or if I want to play a different uh, game entirely. I'm thinking Don't Starve until next year comes, but we'll see. Be kidding me. Shh. Keep it down. He'll hear you. Hurry, gonna whack us. 
Hurry up. Inmates in Bro. Not be too fast about that. Our graves hold up in there like a fat ass and a white cat. Oh, cool. That makes this easy. Okay, let's save again. They're both dead. Individual. Huh, man, he fucking rock. Brutal, fuck. Brutal. Bring the rock to stop it. I like to Please don't kill him.
is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, we're up here. I ain't nothing to fuck with. <sighs> Are we done? We're done. We got a jet, motherfucker. Okay, yes, let me save it before. Yes, yes, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're good, we're good. Bro. I've not had to do something that hard in a long time. In a video game, anyways. Fuck, those creatures are everywhere. All right, hold up. Talk. Fuck you waiting for. Coming or what? You coming or what? All right. We got a jet, motherfucker. Those creatures are everywhere. Okay, let me say it again. There we go. Alright, we're good. Talk. We're good. Fuck you waiting for. Come on, talk. This way. I think I know a way out. Talk. Fuck you waiting for. You coming or what? Alright, hold on. Talk. Fuck you waiting for. Oh yeah, this is it. Other side of these gates is the promised land, man. A way out. Uh, a chance at least. You can't catch me. You can never catch me. Man, talk. You're the man. Your soul is strong, T. Hello, officers. This is Consuela Alvarez. I'm looking for Ernesto, my husband. If anyone who hears this could have him call me on our home radio, I would be very thankful. Tell him everything is okay. Daddy. The Slayers hate him just as much as I do. Kill him. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Seems like the game's running fine now.
Nice. Keep what I bring about. Uh oh, I was about to say. Let me save over this one as well, because... comes to the marksmen, you can uh, shoot their heads off and immediately kill them. Whoa. It's a little tricky to do it with uh, automatic weapons, but it is possible. Now in the sequel, Ties That Bind, for whatever reason, they remove that mechanic entirely. You cannot shoot, immediately kill uh, marksmen with headshots. I don't know why. I don't know why it doesn't make sense to me to this day. Got to be kidding me. What was that explosion? Where did that come from? <clears throat> well away from them. I guess this guy's glitched. Ooh. 
good. But just when I was starting to think that this game was actually getting easier. Where is that coming from, man? Who is shooting me like that? I know it's not the marksmen. They're not capable of uh, shooting explosives like that. that easier. That's all. Bastards! Go to hell! 
I finally get the shotgun. Oh yes, bad time. Shotgun, give it to me. Nah, not yet. Oh, check, turn me on now. Six, right? Yeah. There's about 20 chapters. those main liners.
Yeah, for some reason, Bork doesn't use his hands to flush the bowl toilets. He uses his butt to push the lever down. Where's this dripping coming from? Yo, who that? Come on, don't you want to talk to me? No. T, over here. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Pig, I'm pregnant. And that's not all. Look, I just... It's over, T. You say you're innocent, but I don't know if I can trust you. I'm filing for divorce. You can't be a father in jail. I can't bring Corey here to visit you, or the new one. It's better if they just forget, for now. It's better for me, too. I hope you've forgiven me, T. Things might be different if I had been able to hang on. Oh. to call you a gentle soul talk but i do believe there is hope for you yet nevertheless if i am to treat you i must observe you further see if you can think outside the box all right now I'll turn the sprinklers on which is oh, here. Finally. Shotgun. This is gonna make taking down a lot of enemies a lot easier. It's, it's overall one of the best weapons in the game. I'm so glad this game, at least the first title anyways, follows classic FPS rules. You know a good sh a shooter is good when the shotgun's really well made. I see you up there.
So that's a new enemy variant. Hey man, um, they're not really, they're buggy, I'll tell you that much. Sometimes they'll stand exactly underneath where they're supposed to uh, attack, right? Since they're, they only attack in a specific, yeah, location. Oh, my bad. But half the time they don't even bother attacking, no. They don't bother dropping down from the ceiling or the uh, roof or whatever. They attack the player. Especially if they're moving really quickly. Especially is what helps the most. It's the same reason why the Tommy gun is so good too. They don't deal a lot, a lot of immediate damage. It's only when they drag tor completely towards the ceiling that's when they become a problem. Oh, 
How did I miss? So satisfying. Much easier to deal with these guys now. Now I will agree with Sibi in his video. The enemy variety, because it's so few, does make the combat, I want to say tedious, but definitely repetitive. It's uh, definitely not fun to have to shoot mainliners and slayers all the time. Weapons like the shotgun and the flamethrower definitely help make the process of getting through combat a lot quicker and easier. Also, not to toot my own horn, but besides a few sections here and there, mostly to do with keeping NBCs alive, impossible difficulty doesn't really seem all that impossible. ammo on killing the hangman but because there's so many in this area I say why not I have the ammo to spare anyways feels so good to do that to go around. Plenty of healing items. But I'm not about to waste any of it though. I might be able. The good thing about this game is that, well, I think it's a good thing anyways. 
is that you can actually backtrack the previously explored areas and previous chapters. No, Dad, you can't catch me. You do it again. <laughs> That's like he's going for that mainliner. Yeah, you know an enemy is really annoying when even the other enemy types will attack it. I ain't gonna stop him. Bro, these guys have way too much health for how scrawny they are. How many swings is it gonna take? You've got to be kidding me. He's still alive. And the Maylander won the fight, somehow. I don't care if I wasted that extra shot. Oops. Bro, you gotta get up, get up from there, get off.
Oh. Wait, hold up. Okay. So far the game has not crashed since I got done with that chapter, but I'm just making sure that in case if it does crash again. I don't lose any of this progress, but I don't think I gotta worry about that anymore. The game's pretty stable. I just don't know why that chapter specifically was just so buggy. I don't think you understand what we do here. There is not enough blood on your hands. Try harder. Nah. CO. But believe me, I always thought I had more in common with the inmates than the gung-ho CEOs they got here at Abbott. He'll help you if you keep him safe. He's weak. Should now, he the kill? only idea I have is that we got a call for help. Somebody has to be able to help us. C -c -c Come on, we need to get to the radio building. We can call from there. You keep me safe? Let's go. Ah! 
We'll go out there. Oh, oh no. I, I guess it looks safe now. Come on, this this way. You know what the magic hour is? It's when the sun's over the horizon, but but it's still light out. Some folks call it twilight, but I call it the magic hour. But I call it. I guess it looks safe now. Come on, this this way. There's no way out of this tower. I, I thought there was, but there ain't. I think that did it. You're a smart man. Uh, a little crazy, maybe, but but smart. We can get out now. I want to go on record to say that. There's a part in CV's video that relates to this specific bit here. This uh, quote unquote um, puzzle. Just watch the video for yourself and watch how he solves uh, how he solves this. I'm not saying his way of doing it was wrong. It's just that I just find it funny that we gonna make it. He probably didn't try to do what I just did. But, anyways. I don't know. I never believed it, but I think my mama was right. This is God's judgment, and we come up short. in the wall. Worse. What did I ever do to deserve this? Okay. Okay. I ain't going up. Okay. And case in point, game crashed again. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I have no idea if it's just because I'm streaming or what, but I've never experienced these kinds of issues when playing off uh off stream. I ain't trying to blame uh anybody. I'm just saying. I think my uh, specs for my PC just can't handle um, playing, running this game, and there we go, and uh, streaming at the same time. Either that or the game just really does not like OBS. I'm gonna get us to the radio building. Ah! I think they're the light. I, I, I guess it looks safe now. Come on, this this way. We're gonna call for help. Come on. Ah! I, I, I guess it looks safe now. Come on, this this way. Now, to get to the radio, we gotta get into the yard. But, but hell, they, they, there's no way out of this tower. I, I thought there was, but there ain't. Oh, and to show off what I was talking about, he said that you can enter first person view and shoot these uh, explosive canisters here. And that is true. However, you can also just do this. 
It's slower. Yeah, I get it, but it saves ammo. So. I think that did it. You're a smart man. Uh, look crazy, maybe, but but smart. We can get out now. Yeah, We're gonna I make it. it. Run, Malcolm. Run. Corey always wanted to You're play with his boy. father. There another turret you? here. I feel like there should be. Maybe not. Gonna rain fire down from above. It ain't raining fire, but I sure wish it would. It'd be much better than this. Smart man. Uh, look crazy, maybe, but but smart. We can get out yeah. now. We're gonna I make it. it. Malcolm. Run, Malcolm. Run. You're up, Corey. Oh, I don't wanna. Corey always wanted to play, with his to play with his father. But where were you? That was way too early. That was way too early. My bad. That did it. You're a smart man. Uh, look crazy, maybe, but but smart. We can get out yeah, now. We gonna I make it. it. Malcolm. Run, Malcolm. Run. You're up, Corey Corey. always wanted to play with his father, but where were you?
Uh, that was probably a bad idea, but... Is he still up there? Please tell me he's still alive. I don't know. Okay, good. I never believed it, but I think my mama was right. This is God's judgment, and we come up short. Alright, man. He needs a little help. Mama, why didn't I listen to you? You told me no man should make his living locking up other men like animals. You knew, Mama. You knew. Why didn't I listen? An angel of vengeance. Come, come to save us all. Come on, we're, we're almost there. We're gonna call for help. Come on. What are you supposed to in here? The radio's in here. The radio's already on. What? The, that sound coming over the speaker. It's like it's possessed or something. After all that, we're still dead. Sometimes, I think you were the perfect father. And she said sometimes. It looks like interference is coming from the western part of the island. Wait, that's gotta be from the old asylum. Uh, corrections officers go out there sometimes. They set up an old radio so they can stay in touch with the abbot. Maybe that's what's causing the interference. But maybe it's something else. I, I always thought that place was haunted. Listen, you see, there's no way I'm leaving this building with things like they is. So you're the ones got to go to the asylum. There's a map right there. You need to go through the old quarry to get there. You can get out of the prison by climbing up to the roof right above us and then jumping over to the diggers building. I'll stay here and keep the radio safe from those pub g goblins. And please don't... I'll try. Get out of here, you fool! What you waiting on? Not sure why he doesn't bother trying to find a weapon for himself, but he's probably not trained well enough to use silence. one. Something's not right there. It, it's not much of a chance, but but it's all we got. Get out of here, you fool! What you waiting on? That's exactly what I just did. Get out of here, you fool! What you waiting on? Get out of here, you fool! What you waiting on? You, you, you gotta get to the asylum. Something's not right there. It, it's not much of a chance, but, but it's all we got. Go on and get to the asylum and figure... Alright, cool. Chapter A, I think. Yes. If you've noticed, things pick up real fast after getting the shotgun. And that would be true as well for the flamethrower. It's awesome, a lot of cocktails. Molotov cocktails. Bro, how was I supposed to know?
So that's where Hermes was buried. That's where I think his name is Horus. Horus Killjoy. This hurts so much. Dad was never there. The bad man caught us. I just wanted to be with my children. He abandoned us. Why didn't Daddy save us? This was your life, T. How did you let it get away? Sucker tried to shiv me. Some thanks. Inmates got a gun! Drop him!
I forgot what these guys are called, but this new enemy type. The easiest way to deal with them is to throw any kind of explosive in the same hole that they erupt from. And that does include flashbang grenades as well. Seriously?
Okay. I thought this unlocked an alternative path, but it does not. There are parts of this chapter where I do have to blow up TNT crates in order to open up pathways, but this ain't one of them. That's it. It's the easiest way to kill them. Trying to shoot them dead is pretty, it's a little more difficult and lots of times it's not even worth spending that extra ammo to finish them off. In my personal opinion. By the way, if you're wondering if there's a reason why the jump scares keep happening, there is none at all. They just happen. Especially when the player is idle. And no, there's no way to turn it off either. I know it's annoying for me too, but it's just part of the game. It should be in, yeah, in chapter 9, I think. Halfway done with the game.
little too early on that. There we go. I don't know if I talked about this before, but right now, for them is fine hurts. I'm uh, learning to play as Palm, and that's just because I kind of just got bored of Velvet after a while. And it's mostly because Velvet doesn't have a whole lot of ways to open up the opponent. She's the zoner, of course, so I'm assuming that's the reason why. I'm supposed to. Be like her weakness, or not weakness, but one of her limitations. But Palm seems more like she seems to have a few more options than. There we go. Then Velvet, as far as opening up the player, uh, yeah, opponent goes. So, in general, I just. Deserve it. I want to continue. Oh, shit. You think anybody will care? Watch out! Cave in! You can't just leave us here! Look out! You've got to help me! They deserve it. Fucking inmates, they're not worth the trouble. Let them rot. I'm just trying to expand my horizons and expand my knowledge of character archetypes. Every single fighting game I've ever played, I've always played the rushdown archetypes. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it gets boring after a while. So, there's that. When's the next time I'll stream uh, them fine herds? I can't tell you. Um, it's not that I don't want to stream the game or anything. It's just that, because I do play it off stream. It's just that um, the issue comes with trying to play against other people in the same time zone that I currently live in. Or at least in the same region anyways. Oh. Probably not the best use of my ammo, but whatever. So, I have yet to try playing online against other people this late at night. I know for some members of the FGC like Sonic Fox, they play around this time of night, but I don't know if they actually get to play against other players consistently at this uh, time of night. So, I want to at least test that out and 
if it turns out that I can't play against anybody, I don't see any point in streaming the game in general. Unless it's just to do salt mines, but we'll see, we'll see. I feel like that would get boring after a while. But I am excited for the new uh, content that's going to get released soon. So. Also, I don't know why I use shotgun shells to blow up those barrels. I mean, uh, creates a TNT. Why is he going down? Oh, they bleed out. Okay. Yeah, if you shoot their limbs off, they actually bleed out. Okay, that's cool. So learning more things about this game's gameplay. This game overall is pretty good. It's a little jank, but it's pretty good. It's just unfortunate that the sequel is not nowhere near as great. But we'll show that off. I mean, I'll talk about that later.
Hold on. I gotta turn the light on, the spotlight. Down with the overseers. They suffocated in there! Gotta get payback! It's too good for those fuckers. Let's get them alive.
Hey, I hope you make it out too. There's hope for you yet, T. Has the devil trapped you? You're not a bad man. You have to believe. Yeah, so now we're halfway done with the game. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, I'm going to go eat a bit. And then I'm going to try to come back. Again, I make no promises, but I should be back um, after I eat. Unless I just go back to sleep. But anyways. Um, just for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Um, uh, I know this isn't really the scariest game out there in terms of horror, but if nothing else, um, I hope more people get to play this game because it's pretty good for the most part. It's pretty fun. And it doesn't get talked about a whole lot. I mean, there's not really much to say, but... There it is, still. Um, it's, a good, it's a good time. It's a good time. Yeah. Until next time. Peace.